uh, back in Sydney. This time at a tattoo studio down in Bondi. Uh, just basically continuing the love and passion and drive between the uh, thousand kilometer scene between I am Duck Eye and Berkshire Hunting Club. And uh, today I'm uh, having it uh, finalized in the flesh by Meg Gear doing her um, tattoo of Knuckles, which is the um, Berkshire Hunting Club's kind of mascot. So uh, very proud and yeah, happy to be doing it. I thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a little symbol. Not quite. Like that. Yeah. You know. That's too much out. This, doesn't she have a name? Knuckles. Knuckles? Yeah. It's, um, it's the forward thinking of uh, animal transsexuality. Uh, yes. Moose Knuckles? Is that what it comes from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a commitment. Yeah, I know. That is committing yourself to the This little symbol thing, like that big. Yeah. It's just such an awesome image too, like regardless. Meg's artwork's fantastic, it's raw. Where are you going to be at? Awesome. Are you that guy? Basically the Gladstone, uh, for those of you who don't know it, uh, it's a little pub down in Redfern, sort of Redfern, Chippendale, uh, completely legal venue, plays like a warehouse, um, something that Sydney's been missing for a long time, um, uh, we haven't had opportunities to play, you've either been playing in legal warehouses or playing for structured promoters that want to rip the hell out of you. Uh, somewhere everyone gets paid, everyone wins, everyone gets a shot to play. Um, you get paid on how you promote yourself. And it's really the uh, saving grace of this whole city at the moment in terms of live music. And uh, we won. Everyone won there. Duck Eye won, Berkshire won. Berkshire fucked up amazingly well and still won. <laughs> Yeah, it was a great night. Uh, Kaleidoscope were fantastic. Um, Swine came in and ripped us a new one with a fucking 30 minute set, which was fantastic. Uh, part of the Mystical Judon, they were probably probably up there as a main, uh, main highlight of last night too. They, they opened the set and they were just awesome. Probably one of the best sets I've ever seen them play. Um, yeah, it's just it's great. People came down, people bought merchandise, put money back in the petrol tanks back in Melbourne. Um, and yeah, really studying the fortune relationships in this venue that are opening up Sydney music and opening up Melbourne and Sydney having a much more transferable scene between bands, which is something that uh, is, is really going to change the face. It's not just Melbourne scene and Sydney scene anymore. It's somewhere where we can transfer Sydney bands going to Melbourne and Melbourne bands coming back to Sydney so easily. Um, yeah, we the promoter Nate down at the Gladstone, um, he's 100% behind it, he wants to bring um, what was the feeling of Sydney music from 10 years ago, where it, every, everyone could play, but it, you had to work hard to make it somewhere in the industry, and uh, he's bringing that sort of um, dedication back to the scene where bands can work hard, they can make a name for themselves and they can make money doing it so that they can then get out and tour and make records, make t-shirts, have a place where they can sell those records, sell those t-shirts and perform to uh, you know, audiences with cohesive lineups. It's just Gladstone Hotel is, is Sydney at the moment, 100%.